Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. This is early morning blackout sessions. It's, it's almost like energies tend to come out when it's dark. I don't know, like you can't see them, which you can't see the energies anyway. But whatever Pisces, let's go. Holy Spirit for Pisces, Pisces cross watchers. Guys, if you are new, you are welcome. All right, Pisces, let's go. I'm pulling off the top with that big deck. That's the one I'm using. Yeah, what messages do we have for Pisces? Pisces, I just saw Family Secrets just now. Holy Spirit. What's going on? Pisces, know this. Pisces, no communication is communication. So if you're waiting on a phone call, waiting on a text, waiting on something from your person, no communication is communication. Just like if you're not calling or texting your person, they're doing the same thing that you're doing. So don't act surprised, right? So if there's no communication, it no communication is communication, either on your part or their part. Either you're waiting on them to reach out, and if they're not reaching out, then you have the ability to reach out. So you're both choosing not to communicate on both sides because you can't just put it on one person and say, well, they're not calling, they're not texting, they're not calling, they're not texting, they're not this. Well, guess what? You're not calling, you're not texting either, right? It goes both ways. So there's no communication. So, Pisces, if you wait for your person to call or reach out and it's, and it's driving you nuts, then call and reach out to them. They'll either tell you don't call me no damn more or they're going to say something. But don't be sitting in the stool. Don't don't sit in the stool. What's going on, Pisces? Pisces, somebody is trying to figure out how you did it. They're trying to figure out how you did it, Pisces, whatever you did, right? They're trying to figure out something in your life changed, right? Something in your life changed. Like for me, for instance, I'll say it's YouTube, it's Instagram, it's the social media. Um, when COVID happened, of course, we was all locked in the house, working from home, and I was playing around with the cards. I don't know if y'all know my story, but I was writing them out, relationship stuff. And then next thing you know, my cards started selling online and they was just banging. And then I ended up going into tarot because my daughter was like, well, mom, you got to use your cards. I was like, I just want to sell them. So I ended up doing tarot. And then... YouTube took off and then Instagram's taken off and then this and then I tried to like with my family members and other friends and stuff they're asking me well how do you do it how did you do it and I'm really just telling them look I did this I grabbed my phone I started I got on and I talked and they tried it too and it's just not working and I can't explain how or why I don't know I, I think it's a blessing it's people's callings everybody's not going to get it everybody doesn't have it um I think when you're on pla on any platform, if you want an audience, you have to have character, you have to have charisma, you have to pull people in, you have to make them want to listen to you. Like right now, y'all y'all got a black screen, but y'all are my supporters. It's I don't know. So somebody's trying to figure out how you did it, Pisces, whatever it is. You went to school, you did this, you did that, you VP without a title, I mean without a degree. Like, how did you do it, Pisces? Right? How did you do it? They trying to figure it out. How did you get yourself up out the ditch? I think you was ever in the ditch. But you did a wow factor, Pisces. You you did a wow factor. And people are shocked. Let's just put it like that. If you got people trying to figure out how you did it, trust me. They're trying to connect the mother effing dot. Pisces, you have improved finances. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe your money's changing. Maybe you got a raise, but it's looking good. Maybe you got a new car. Maybe you got this. Maybe you got that. And people are calculating. People are watching, looking, lurking, wondering how you did it. Maybe you work in two and three jobs, right? Maybe you work in two and three jobs. Maybe you're doing things on the side. Why don't they? People need to ask. No communication is communication. So instead of talking to you, Pisces, they trying to figure out how you did it. Well, all you got to do is call and ask, right? All you got to do is call and ask. Why are they not calling and asking? Is that Haiti? Pisces will teach you. Pisces are nice. Until you take us there, until you cross us. Then we won't tell you ish. Pisces, do you still love me? So the person that you're not communicating with, Pisces, they want to know if you still love them or not. But if you ask me, person, if you're watching this channel and you're wondering if your Pisces love you, the same way that you're probably watching this video with your phone in your hand, text that Pisces. 
Go ahead. Text them. Text them exactly what you just said to me. Say, Pisces, do you still love me? Send. That's it. It's real easy. It's real easy. Holy Spirit for Pisces. Guys, I'm up early. I don't know what the hell. But let's go. All right. I know why I'm up early. It's the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit got me up. I just flipped the card around to show you guys. But it clearly says Holy Spirit, exclamation point. So they're trying to figure out how you did it. The Holy Spirit did it. The Holy Spirit did it. The Holy Spirit got me up this morning. The Holy Spirit got you up this morning, too, to listen to this video. First thing, the Holy Spirit did it. You can't explain it, Pisces. Some things you can't explain. And no matter how hard you try to explain it, you can't. Pisces, your improved finances is going to be a cause for celebration, baby. It's going to be a cause for celebration, baby. Guys, I'm reading you exactly what's on these cards. I'm shuffling. I'm moving. Y'all hear me doing it. I'm not kidding. Plus, I wouldn't lie anyway, guys. You, you, don't play, you don't play with spirit like that, right? You don't play with the gifts. They'll snatch your gifts, right? They'll snatch your gifts. Pisces. Somebody could be very abusive. This person here. The one that's wondering if you love me, wondering how you did it. They counting your money, or at least they think you are. They think your life changed, right? You got new cars, new this, new clothes, new this, new bike, whatever, new skateboard, whatever you got, Pisces, <laughs> whatever. Taking trips, they looking. But this person is abusive. So think back to who that is, Pisces. Have they ever got up in your face? Nasty. Figure out who that is, Pisces. Wow. Now, Pisces, I don't know if spirit is telling you that you are important and you need to say, I am important, or this abusive person is trying to tell you that I am important. So this says, I am, exclamation point, important. So Pisces, I maybe you could be telling yourself you are important, but I think you already know this. If not, the person that's trying to get your attention is like, look, I'm important too. I'm important too. But Pisces, you surpassed them in whatever you did. So they're like, I'm important too. And you know, oh my God, Pisces, that is them. That's what they're saying. I'm important too. You want to know why? Because the next card comes out and it says, I'm not happy with myself. This person is not happy with themselves, Pisces, because deep down inside, they're not happy for you, right? They're trying to figure you out. They see you improve finances. It's something about the Holy Spirit. It's probably shining all over you, right? And they can see it. People can see spirituality on people and it makes them back up because now they're scared of you. They think, I don't know, it's just something about you. Pisces, they see you out there celebrating. They want to know if you still love them. So now that you have all these good things going on, they're screaming in their mind, well, I'm important too. I'm important too. But they're not happy with themselves because they're probably comparing themselves to you, which is not what they should do, right? So this person wants to feel important, Pisces. They could also be abusive. No communication is communication. This person has sex in their car. Yep, sex in the car, Pisces. If it's not with you, it's with somebody. People be like, people still have sex in the car? Yes, all around YouTube. Are you kidding me? People getting arrested and everything. <laughs> yes, people are still sexting in cars. They'll sext anywhere they can, right? Anywhere they can. And guess who they're sexting? Pisces, friends with benefits. Now, the only thing with this friends with benefits, Pisces, is they know about you and they don't care. Well, that's the definition of friends with benefits. Friends with benefits is, I know you got somebody and I don't care. And I know you got somebody and I don't care. That's basically what it is. Friends with benefits. I know you got Tasha and I know you got Jerome. <laughs> But we can meet up once a month, twice a week, on Thursday, Saturday morning, Sunday afternoon for two, three hours. Friends with benefits know the rules. Those are the trolls of relationships, the friends with benefits. They're like the, um, the what do you call that? The, the cats with no home, the dogs with no home. What do you call them? The stray dogs. Those are the stray dogs. This person is good for a lay. They're good for like anybody who's a friends with benefits. You have no type of mm, about yourself. I couldn't even come up with the right word. 
because that's low on the totem pole. Being a friends with benefits, especially if you are a woman, a friends with benefits, you know what you're doing? You allowing that man to sleep with whoever, whoever, however, whenever. They can be sleeping with Tasha on Tuesday night, Kim on Tuesday night, and put it in your face on Wednesday night. That's the friends with benefits. You don't care what they doing, who they doing, or how they doing it, which means you don't care what they bring you, how you get it, and if you can get rid of it. Don't be anybody's friends with benefits. The hell? And then sometimes you get into a friends with benefits thinking, oh, you're friends with benefits because they're only with their wife. Or it's a friends with benefits because they're only with their husband. No, baby. You're probably one of many. You're probably one of many. Don't ever sign up for that. It's never a fair deal. Trust me. And then usually one of the friends with benefits ends up falling in love and you're going to get your feelings hurt. Thinking that person love you. They don't love you. It's the sex. Haven't you heard? That down there area don't have a face. It doesn't. My mom used to always say you can put a bag over somebody's face. Sex is sex. That's all it is. Unless you truly love that person. They be like, oh, she's ugly. Or, oh, he's ugly. He's not attractive. This and that. Put a bag over their face. It's all the same. Just put that bag over their face. So they're not happy with themselves. They have friends with benefits. They have sex in the car, Pisces, and they're abusive. Look at that. Too many energies involved. I told you. Friends with benefits somewhere, and it's probably more than one. More than one. They're chasing your skirt, Pisces. They want to know if you love them. This person is abusive. The Holy Spirit is smack dab in the middle of this reading. Pisces, no. No, and they only want to come back to you, Pisces, because you got improved finances. They try to figure out whatever the hell you did. You did something that's driving them nuts. I know what it is, Pisces. You ready? They want fame and money. So, Pisces, is it kind of like what I said? Remember how I said during COVID time or whatever, during that time, um, people changed. People started businesses, whether it was online whatever 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 right because sometimes your business isn't online but you sell online right but your business yada 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 they want what you have pisces so you either got the fame and you got the money you got improved finances so fame would be i guess now the social media fame that's what it is now yes we have celebrities but even the word celebrity isn't even celebrities anymore not to me because you don't blur the lines like back in the day celebrities used to be uh Wow, every now and then you hear something, it will be on the news, this and that. Now you can basically text a celebrity, right? You can text them, they'll text you back. You can say hi to them online, they'll say hi back. Like a celebrity isn't how it used to be. And they themselves messed it up. Celebrities used to be unreachable. We used to be able to be like, oh my God. Da, 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 da. Now it's kind of like you can pick up the phone and call a celebrity. They'll call you back. So it's not even what's a celebrity anymore, right? Everybody is. So they want the fame. Maybe you got, what do they call it now? You got social media fame. You got YouTube fame. You got this. So if you're out there, that's what they want, Pisces. They want your fame. They want what you got. They want your stage. Well, let me tell you how Pisces got it, person. With their cell phone and a room. Cell phone, a room, a table, and a deck of cards. So that's how Pisces got it. If you're watching them online, they got it with their cell phone. They take pictures, they post. They got it with their cell phone. They write, they share. They teach classes, they share. They get online, they talk. So they want the fame. Whatever it is you built for yourself, Pisces, that's what they want. That's what they want. Pisces, they think you're wifey material. Of course they do. You're definitely not the FWB, right? You're definitely not the FWB. But Pisces, I don't think this person is deserving. And here we go again. Pisces, did not say family secrets. Go back, Pisces. I said, I saw family secrets in the shuffle. Well, guess what? Pisces, I did three across, five down. And on the fifth one down, the very last one is family secrets. I think it's time to put some tarot on me. Slide those puppies over there. Pisces. Holy Spirit for Pisces. Oh, 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 oh. It's 
Wait for me, y'all. Wait for me, like His spirit of anger. Let's break these cards down and see what's going on. Spirit, why is this no communication? It's communication. Why is this card here? Why are they not talking to Pisces? Reaching out. No communication. Yeah, they're up in their head about you, Pisces. That's why, Eight of Swords. They're up in their head. They can't sleep. They don't know what you did, how you did it, what you doing. But instead of picking up that phone, they scared. Holy Spirit, clarify trying to figure out how Pisces did it when all they have to do is call. Trying to figure out how Pisces did it. Clarify how yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You know why? Because this person, they don't want to put in the work. They don't want to start small and build. Because, see, that's the thing. Let's just talk about YouTube for a second. That's the thing with YouTube. Like, I try to help a lot of people, and they'll be like, well, Deb, that's my name, guys, for you that don't know. They'll be like, well, Deb, I've been on there all week, and I posted a video, and I got four views, and I posted a video, and I got five views, and I posted a video, and I got eight views. I said, well, my first video got six views. But my video was so funny to me that after I did it, I ran out the room, I called myself, I was like, oh my God, I got three views. And it was really, really funny to me. And I enjoyed it. Whether y'all watched it or not or found me or not, I just kept getting on here every day. I wasn't looking at the numbers. I wasn't looking at who's doing this. And then in a few days, I had 13 followers, then 30, then 40. And see, here's the thing, guys, you got to love what you're doing. You got to want to come and get on here because YouTubers, when you first get on YouTube, they don't have no followings. There's nothing. There's just a YouTuber, a room, a candle, and cards, especially if you're doing tarot, right? But any YouTuber, there's nothing. It's really our phones, and then we start buying equipment and stuff. But that's what it is. If you, if you want anything from scratch, you have to put in the work. Nothing's going to happen overnight. So then they try to compare you to them. They were like, well, you such and such and such, and so many da 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 don't worry about how, how quick it happened for me. Everybody's process is different. So instead of them talking to you or putting in the work, Pisces, they're just trying to figure it out. But this person is lackadaisical. They don't want to do it. They're unreliable. Spirit, clarify and prove finances for Pisces. Ten of cups, baby. I can't make it up, Pisces. I can't make it up, Pisces. I can't make it up, Pisces. Pisces. All right, guys. Pisces, they want to know, do you still love me? I'm answering every card. Do you still love them, Pisces? Spirit, clarify. I don't know, Pisces. You're not in hangman. I don't even think you think about this person anymore. Not like that. You're not caught up anymore. You're like, ah. Oh, no. Like, you're not a hangman. You're not caught out there no more, Pisces. I think things change for you. Spirit, clarify this Holy Spirit from a Pisces. Because the Holy Spirit got you up this morning. They're trying to figure out how you did it. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. It was the Holy Spirit. And now they're feeling left out in the cold because, see, the Holy Spirit took you from them. That's what happened. Spirit made you walk away. Holy Spirit. Clarify this call for celebration, baby! Ten of Pentacles, Pisces. Ten of Pentacles, Pisces. Call for celebration. Improved finances. Ten of Cups. Calls for celebration. Ten of Pentacles. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Get down. Go ahead, boy. Go ahead. Get down, right? Pisces, who's abusive? Because we're not doing abusive, Pisces. This is judgment call. Spirit, said, spirit is telling you that this person is, a, is abusive. The judgment card came out with the trumpet all in their face. Spirit is like, look, this mother lover, Pisces, is abusive. They're going to try to lay their hands on you if they haven't already, which means Pisces, you're going to have to tap, 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 right? You're going to have to tap back, tap back, and then dial 911. Because you you don't let nobody hit you. You don't let nobody hit you. You hit back, you run, right? Don't try to fight them. But you hit back and you run to safety. <laughs> Holy Spirit, clarify that I am important, Pisces. Yeah, see, this person is trying to tell you, Pisces, with all of the good things that you have going on, they don't feel important, so they have to tell themselves, I'm important. And the reason why I say that is because even though they're telling themselves I'm important, they're not very sure about it. 
during the two of pentacles they're they're trying to figure out am i important am i i don't know if i'm important or not holy spirit clarify why they're not happy with their life hmm, they have a lot of regrets thank you five of cups this person for one you're not happy with your life is because for one you're a hater right i'm just gonna say it you're a hater because you're trying to figure out something that somebody did but you know this person so instead of calling them and asking them for help, you're going to sit back like a little wuss. So that's why you're sitting in regret. You're a hater. You're immature and you're probably petty. Right? You're probably not happy with yourself because you probably had sex in your car one time too many. Right? You're probably not happy with yourself because you're chasing fame and you're chasing money. And that's where you go wrong. That's where you go wrong. A gift is a gift is a gift, but you can't chase it, right? You can't chase it. That's where people go wrong. Holy Spirit, clarify the sex in the car. Sex in the car, three of pentacles in reverse. It didn't work. It's probably all uncomfortable and everything, Pisces. <laughs> sex in the car. It's something they don't want to do again, I guess. It didn't work. But you can't bring the person home. You can't go over their house. Spirit, clarify who's the principal beneficiary. Tell us. Yeah, there was no hope in that situation. That's all it was, was friends with benefits. Yeah, there was no hope in that situation. Like, they didn't want anything else. This person didn't want anything with whoever's trying to get with you, Pisces. Clarify, there's too many energies. Oh, my God. Pisces, I just flipped the card, and it's the five of wands. When it's too many energies involved, five of wands. So they involved everybody, put you in competition, compared you to people, cheated on you. Whatever they did to you, Pisces, they skull dragged you, right? They did. They had you in competition. They compared you to other people. But what, what happened was, Pisces, they still realized that you was the best of the best, apparently. You're the best of the best because they still trying to figure you out. They can't stop thinking about you, Pisces. They can't stop thinking about you, Pisces. They want this fame, Pisces. They want what you got. Guess what? Two of cups in reverse and it didn't work. Something didn't work. Yeah, something didn't work. You got the lovers in reverse, two of cups in reverse. So they, they, they want money and fame. So that's why their relationships aren't working. Pisces clarify. I mean, spirit clarify this wifey material. Pisces, be careful. They'll say anything to get with their graces. Wipe the material of my ass. Four of wands in reverse, Pisces. No. No. I don't know if they thought, karmic thought that they was wifey material, and the person's like, no, with the four of wands in reverse. Or Pisces, they think you're wifey material, and you like, no, there will be no types of reunions up in this piece, right? There will be no types of four, four of wands up in here. Like, you, you, you don't offer no stability. Spirit, clarify this wifey material again. Pisces, they probably see you as wifey material and can't offer you shit. Yeah, they want a partnership with you. You're wifey material. They want a partnership with you, but they can't offer you stability with the four of wands in reverse. Holy Spirit, clarify these family secrets. Hmm. What are the family secrets, Spirit? Ace of wands in reverse. No new beginning. Spirit, clarify these family secrets and this ace of wands in reverse. So the family secret is, is they have a family on top of a friends with benefits. So they have a family that they want to leave. They don't want to go back to because you fulfill them emotionally. That's why there's so many people involved. For one, they have a family, which means they, they either got a wife, they got somebody that they live with, living like a family, whether those are your kids, you raise those kids, those are your kids, they kids, her kids, she's kids, right? So they want to leave that for you, Pisces, but let's not forget, they still have a friends with benefits. Remember how I told y'all in the beginning, I said a friends with benefits sleep with, a friends with benefits will sleep with anybody that'll sleep with them, Right? They'll sleep with a husband. They'll sleep with a wife. But guess what? That wife and that husband are sleeping with other people, which right now we're apparently finding out. Whoever this person is, not only are they sleeping with the friends with benefits, chasing up your skirt, Pisces, or chasing up your zipper, Pisces, and they're still sleeping with other people. Pisces, this is trash on trash on trash. Trash on trash on trash. It's early. I'm getting it out. 
I don't know why. Woke me up. Trash on trash on trash. Pisces, this person got personal issues that's deeper than the surface, guys. I just pulled out Pandora's box just for a card or two. Personal issues. They could be dealing with an older woman, or you could be an older woman between the ages of 35, 45. The affair, someone broke the vow of trust. Pisces, they did it. They had an affair. They probably broke the, 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 the vow of trust with the family secrets. They broke the vow of trust with you, Pisces. But the friends with benefits of it there. This person is guilty. It's all get out. Look at that. This is guilt. Number four. Pisces, this is a lingering past. It's time for you to go. Spirit intervene. Faith intervene. Steps in divine judgment. And remember I said the Holy Spirit showed up right there? Yeah, the Holy Spirit. Pisces, you got to go. Y'all personal beliefs and values don't add up. And then you got the death part endings. It's time to move on, Pisces. Lingering past. It's time to go. Got it twice. Time to go, Pisces. And guess what? The very bottom is angry and bitter person or an ex-lover. Be careful, Pisces. They may have destruction in their back pocket. Sudden change. It's a car right after that. You're a mature woman, 45, 55. So they was messing with, she was older woman too, but she was trash of an older woman because if you are friends with benefits, Pisces, man or woman, that's trash. Straight up trash. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody tell you different. Any type of friends with benefits, any type of, you sitting around. Did you see Tyrone last night? Girl, I ain't seen him in a month. You know me and Tyrone, we only get together. Such and such and such and such. Girl, I ain't got time for no relationship. But did you see Derek? Girl, yeah, Derek was over here last night sucking those toes. You tell me when, where, and how. That shit is cute. Especially for a lady. I'll wait. And I know today the women don't care. And it's one thing. Yes, get out there and date. By all means, if you're single, date. You can date four or five, six people. The difference between dating and having sex is huge. Dating is getting to know them. Y'all can probably go to the movies. You can hang out a little bit, get to know them. You may even invite them over if you so choose, right? That doesn't mean bring them to your bed. It doesn't mean sleep with them. It means you're getting to know them. Y'all can cook together. Y'all can hang out. That's dating. So if you're dating three, four, five people, you're getting to know them. And then as soon as you catch feelings for one or two, then you eliminate, right? You eliminate the three. Now you have two, right? You date a little bit more, and now you're feeling Frederick. You like Frederick a little bit more than you like Danny. So guess what, Danny? You're out. But you didn't sleep with any of them. You dated them. You hung out with them. You spent time with them. You wanted to see, do I like you? Yes, no, maybe so. And then you started moving people from the roster. Everybody don't get to play. So guys, if you ever find yourself in a friends with benefits situation, don't. Because the only time you know about a friends with benefits is if you raised your hands for that shit. Because they'll tell you, I got a man, I got a woman. He's like, I don't care, I don't care. And that's what people do today. Because they be like, oh, the side chicks are winning. The no, the fuck y'all not. You're not winning. You're straight losing. Because who's going to want that? Who's going to want that? Do we got to bring Kevin Samuels back from the dead to check these women and these men that don't get it? We got to bring Kevin back. And he didn't even go out like because I, I have controversy with Kevin like I do. And it would be some things that he says. But then there's a lot of things that I relate to. There's a lot of things that I understand that Kevin would say. And y'all got these big old things. Well, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Last time I checked, lady, you got six kids. But you want a man that makes six figures and take care of you and you don't want to work. I'm a woman and I'll tell you to get the hell up out of here. That's crazy. What are you bringing to the table? I, I deserve, I deserve, I deserve. Well, let me tell you something. Learn a lesson. Learn a lesson. Stop having all these kids with all these different baby daddies. Men, you too. Stop having all these children with all these different baby mamas. Because guess what, men? Just because you're not with those six baby mamas, a real woman, with a little bit of something is not going to want a man with six baby mothers with two and three baby mothers. It, it, the shoe falls on both. It goes, it goes both ways guys. Men, just like you don't want a woman with three, four, five, six kids. Guess what? We don't want a man with three, four, five, six kids, especially with different women or 
even six kids with the same woman. Who the hell wants that? Ain't nobody raising your tribe. Guys, I don't know. This is a blackout reading. It had to go somewhere. It did. This is it. This is it. This is somebody's message. It had to come out. Every now and then, every now and then, I drop it like this, guys. I do. I may even have to roll this over there on my other page, your inner chakra. So, guys, if you're not a Pisces, I do read for everybody else under your inner chakras. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, anywhere on the internet under your inner chakras, and you'll see me. You'll find me, and I'll talk to you. And that's that, Pisces. This is a read for somebody. Pay attention. Do not be friends with benefits. Do not sign up for that shit. If your person's not communicating and you're wondering, you're waiting, your phone is in your hand right now. Call them. Text them. Say what's up. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. But thanks for listening, right? Peace.